Hey there mamas, this is Lee with Creative Two Time Mom. And today I wanna to share with you about the chapter in our lives of foster care. So as a few of you know, we have a third child that you never see on camera. I'm always talking about being the mom of three, or my little man did this, or we transitioned from a crib, but you never get to see him in videos. And today I wanted to address why that is. Back in 2010, we started on this journey of becoming foster parents. We knew that we wanted to have a third child, and Foss Adopt kind of came into our life through some friends that were doing that as well. We started asking a lot of questions and we felt like our third child was really gonna come out of the foster care system. So we became licensed to be foster parents. Now, along with that, that means that we have no rights to this child. When you're doing foster care, the whole goal of foster care is to reunite that child with their family. So until you actually finalize an adoption, you can't do anything. I tried to take him to a doctor's appointment. I can't do that without permission from the county. You can't take a child to a dentist appointment without permission from the county. You can't um, post pictures on Facebook, which means any family pictures that we have taken since like 2010, we can't post because he is a part of our family and he's in every family picture that we take. Cannot post pictures to social media sites. And along with that comes no clips on YouTube. So it's kind of this catch 22. I share so much with you guys. I share clips of my kids. I share recipes from our family. We share things, ups and downs that we're going through as parents and as people. And here's this whole side of my life that you guys don't get to see my youngest son. I mean, he's, he is my son in a lot of ways. So, you know, there's this mystery surrounding being foster parents and what is it like? I mean, I know I went through that before we became licensed. I had all these horror stories running through my head and all this unknown of what it was really going to be like. And nobody really talks about it, you know, unless you're really close to somebody. There's a lot of mystery involved in the foster care system. So I just wanted to come on here and share that with you. We are foster parents. We have a third child. Um, it's a little boy. We are in the process of adopting him, but it's a long journey. And it's kind of one of those journeys that you feel pulled in two directions while you're doing it. You know, you're rooting for their parents to get healthy. And yet at the same time, you're rooting to adopt this child. And it's really emotional. It's been a journey of a long time coming because we are still waiting to adopt our first child. So I don't know. It's I just wanted to come on and dispel some of that mystery that it's not somebody else that's a foster parent. It's not this dark, crazy world of, that you can't ever possibly understand. It's actually a really healthy situation and providing a stable home for these kids and a safe place to be. My husband and I, the longer we've been in it, the more we shake our heads at how screwed up the system is, but the more committed we are to these kids and the more committed we are to trying to provide a healthy, stable home for these kids that are in some really crazy situations. So, I don't know. If you have any questions, I would love to open this up to um, making more videos to just dispel some of the mystery surrounding foster care. So if you have any questions, would you leave comments below? Um, keep it respectful. Let's use our mature voices and our maturity in this discussion. And I don't know, we'll see where this goes. Talk to you later, mamas.